Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September 1st of 2022. Well, it is titled the Tulip and Cygnus X1. So what do we see here? Well, on the left hand side of the image, we see what is known as the Tulip Nebula. And this is an example of an emission nebula. And that occurs when hot young stars that produce a lot of ultraviolet radiation have formed and the leftover gas around them receiving that ultraviolet radiation becomes excited. And what that means is that the ultraviolet radiation will strip electrons off of the atoms and they will then recombine. And as they do, they give off various photons of light. And in the visible part of the spectrum for hydrogen gas, which makes up most of the atoms in the universe, that will give off a distinct red glow that we see. So we tend to see this red glow associated with star formation within our galaxy. We also see toward the right hand side part of Cygnus X1. Cygnus X1 is one of the strongest radio sources in the sky. And in fact, its designation means that it was the first X-ray source discovered in the constellation of Cygnus the Swan. It is one of the strongest and it is one of the first that was identified as being from a black hole. Now black holes themselves are hard to detect simply because they don't emit any kind of light of any type whether that be x-rays visible light or radio waves. And that's because the escape velocity for a black hole is greater than the speed of light. And since nothing can travel greater than the speed of light nothing escapes out of a black hole once it forms. However, as material spirals into a black hole before it crosses what we call the event horizon, it does get heated up to very high temperatures and can give off a lot of energy, including x-rays. And that's one of the examples of what we see here with some of that that emitted and then off to the right, we can see kind of the bluish loop, which is part of the material from one of those jets of material that are forming Cygnus X1. Now other objects can emit X rays as well. So how do we know that X ray emission means that this is a black hole? Well, we can do other things in fact, studying the motions of this. And in fact, it is a double star system, one star being a bright blue star, and the other one being invisible. If we track out their orbits, we can use the laws of gravity to determine the mass of the objects, how much material has to be there. For the star that we can see, we can make an estimate. We have a pretty good idea of how much material is there. So whatever is left over must correspond to the other object. And because that is a very significant amount of mass, we know that the only thing that could be there that could contain that amount of mass in that small of an area would be a black hole. So this was one of the first to be identified as a black hole. And we of course continue to look for other black holes and have found evidence of many others over the decades since this was first found. So that was our picture of the day for September 1st of 2022. It was titled the Tulip and Cygnus X1. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.